hundred years ago, there were three and a half million red squirrels in Britain. Today, only 140,000 remain. One Welsh island are undertaking a unique wildlife experiment to save the reds, as without conservation, they could become extinct within 10 years. Surrounded by three miles of sea off the coast of South Wales, Coldy Island is attempting to create a colony of reds, with 12 squirrels donated from the Welsh Wildlife Centre. With no grey squirrels on the island to compete for food, space or immunity against squirrel pox, the introduction of the reds seems promising. Estate manager Ben Childs visits the island daily and subsidises the squirrels' diets with hazelnuts and peanuts. I fill the 30, approximate 32 feeders up at least twice a week. I tap the lid because it lets them know it's breakfast time now and they come out to play. It costs £5,000 a year to supply the nuts and local charities on the mainland have sponsored the project for the next five years. 350 conifer trees have been planted across the island, encouraging the reds to forage and flourish in the natural landscape. This experiment on Coldy allows wildlife experts to monitor red squirrels' behaviour, helping them to understand easily what they need to thrive in other parts of Britain. The island's conservation manager, Simon Walters, specialises in tracking the squirrels' breeding to ensure they're capitalising on the island's resources. They've got everything here they want. There's oak trees, there's chestnuts, there's beech, there's different sorts of pine, which they're all feeding on. So I'm hoping for a big success this year, but it's all weather dependent, you know, and it's all food source dependent. Normally the chasing behaviour is in um, January, February time. That is breeding, that's, that's a breeding thing. And you'll see, sometimes you'll see uh, two males pursuing one female around the tree, but the dominant male will win over in the end. With less females visiting the feeding stations, Simon and Ben set off to see if they can track any baby squirrels, also known as kittens. It wasn't long before they found a squirrel dray, nestled in the fork of a tree branch. There's probably kittens in there now as we, as we speak. Do you think they'll survive? Oh yeah, absolutely. Once the number of reds reaches between 40 to 50 squirrels, a dozen can be taken off the island and given to other conservation projects in Britain. Another dozen will also be swapped with reds from a different colony to avoid interbreeding and keep the gene pool strong. Although this project may not be feasible to implement throughout Britain, the future of the red squirrel is relying on conservation initiatives, such as this one on Coldy Island. <laughs>